Welcome back. So today in the shop, something exciting happened that I have been waiting for since, well, a couple of months, and I think a lot of you have been waiting for too. So rather than do a lot of talking about it, let's watch the show intro, and I'll see you in about 30 seconds. You'll get to learn a little bit about what this show is about if you haven't seen it before, and then we'll get right after it. I'm Mike, and this is my car shop. Working out of a 100-year-old refurbished barn, bringing 35 years of experience to projects considered beyond repair. Vision, creativity, and problem solving are essential tools in this place. Watch as we transform junk into polished metal miracles. This is My Cars Shop. Flat surfaces in a shop are the enemy, but that's not what this is about. Um, actually, this is one of the last flat surfaces to read a, to read a kneel or to need a reel. Uh, good going over, but it's actually not gonna take long to do that, and it's on my agenda yet for today. But something else was more important, something related to a green car that we featured on the channel, and I know a lot of you are really excited about. Um, today is the day we're gonna bring the Forsyth Duster and put it where it belongs. Uh, just a side note, I have spent three or four days out here uh, just kind of getting things straightened up. Uh, today we got the Oakland outside. Um, just a lot of cool stuff happening. Trying to get a handle on things, put a lot of stuff in, in totes and in file cabinets and just in general getting things straightened up. And of course, if you remember this and the wall over there got painted. Um, maybe you've seen that, maybe you haven't because I'm not sure on the order of the episode sometimes, but... Uh, It'll be on a Tuesday when it finally comes out, regardless. So anyway, enough talk. Let's just do it. Let's bring the Forsyth Duster into the shop. There was a famous band one time, even more famous than Iron Fist, who said, fits like a glove. And it does, it fits in here great. 
Um, it's going to be a great place for this. We will work on getting the front fenders and stuff off of this to give us just a few more inches of room up in here. Uh, but I moved it over further than the Oakland was so that I have more room to get at my workbench over here and uh, I'm happy with where it landed. I can actually work at the workbench here. Um, the Oakland will be about where you are and the 47 will be behind it over there soon and things are just uh, coming together here. Uh, both of those cars will move very easily now and uh, hopefully the Oakland is running soon. We've run into some problems with that. Uh, nothing major, but I just, so busy, I just kicked the bucket. I've been so busy I haven't had opportunity to get after it and get it done. If you're not familiar with the Forsyth Duster, there are several episodes here on the channel about it. I would encourage you to go check those out. Uh, we're going to have fun doing a preservation of this vintage 70s drag car. Um, it is a 340, 3-speed, three original, numbers matching, low mileage car that has just rotted from sitting in the muddy, wet ground in Michigan. I know there's a lot of controversy over the mileage, but as far as we can tell, um, that's the mileage. That's actual. So uh, it's, uh, it's cool, but you know we're not trying to pass it off. We're not trying to sell it as a low mileage, original numbers matching. What we're doing is really a preservation uh, for the sake of the historical value, particularly locally in the local area and with the family who, uh, who's, who well, Forsyth. So there you go with that. One of the first things that I want to do with the car is get the bay lift under the front end and get the front end picked up significantly, maybe three, four feet up in the air and see exactly what we need besides a torsion bar cross member. Um, from all my inspection of curling around under it, the frame rails are solid and it's just the torsion bar cross members gone. That's a really easy fix, um, but obviously we need to get it up in the air where we can really inspect it and see exactly what we need to do. So there you go on that. One last thing that I want to do, uh, my friend Matt, who's an avid viewer and supporter of the channel, donate a bunch of shop bling uh, for the shop to help spruce things up around here. Some really cool stuff. Uh, his background is similar to mine. He used to work in the Mopar dealers uh, before he went on to painting semis. And uh, he had stuff just kind of kicking around that he decided he wasn't going to use in his shop. Um, and he handed it over to me and said, go ahead and put it up here in my car shop. So I want to share this stuff with you because it's really cool. Um, so this is from 1998. Uh, Master Parts, which is Mopar. Let me get it out of here. It is a really cool barometer and thermometer from Parts Ma or Master Parts Mopar. And uh, that's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm really ge geeked about that to get that put up on the shop. I'm definitely going to make sure that I put it somewhere like over here on the side of the shop that's for mechanical work only where I don't do much paint work because stuff that's done over there where the Challenger and the Duster are, uh, that gets partitioned off and that's generally where we do a lot of spraying so things get covered with overspray. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Thanks Matt, I appreciate that. And there's more, lots more. Something else we have here. Something else in there. I don't know what that is. There's a bag in the bag. So I got a bag. First of all, we have some Mopar Performance logos, uh, pressure sensitive, so basically uh, stickers. And then also, and this was one of my favorite paint companies. It's not as easily available to me now, but uh, this probably go over on the body shop side because it's already got some overspray on it. A beautiful RM clock for those that aren't familiar. RM is a paint company. Back in the early days when I started painting, I used exclusively RM when it came to uh, lacquer, and then I used uh, PPG's Ditzler when it came to enamels. But RM was my go-to for lacquer paint. So that's cool because that's a bit of history for me. I'm not sure how old this is, but. Uh, Probably from the 90s, I would guess. This one's really cool. Sherman Williams Automotive Finishes. Again, another brand of paint that I used to use. I don't use it as much anymore. Um, but I know that some of our viewers do. So that'll find a nice prominent place in the shop here as well. I don't know if I'll be able to keep batteries and all this stuff, but again, it's just really cool shop boy. A 
another one that came out of a working shop, so this will probably go on the body shop side. And of course, you gotta have a Mopar Performance Parts clock. So we'll probably replace the rusty saw blade clock over there that I got from my wife's grandfather. Uh, that needs a complete redo, so I'll put that away in a box till I can get after it. Uh, we'll probably take the plastic out of this and buff it up a little bit so it's a little more visible, but cool shop bling for sure. <clears throat> and then one more, and it's another clock. Uh, I'm not sure this one's any good. The hands are flopping around, but uh, another Master Parts, uh, Mopar Parts, all the different historical Mopar logos. Very cool. Um, Nice little clock, so that'll probably find a spot somewhere over on this side of the shop to hang on the wall as well. Uh, so that's very cool. Uh, so again, thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. You've been a great supporter of the channel and a huge help to me over the years, both in the things we're doing here in my car shop as well as projects long before that. Uh, I really appreciate it. So if other people have bling that they want to send for putting up in the shop, uh, email address is in the comments on the video so you can find that shoot me an email and uh, I'll give you my address to send stuff thank you to other people who have sent stuff I appreciate it thanks to the supporters of the channel you guys have been amazing we couldn't have gotten as far as we have without you and uh, I think there was something else I wanted to mention we're on Facebook and Instagram forward slash my car shop feel like I'm forgetting something else I don't know, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that. And, oh, I know what it was. I remember now. Rock! Wow.